your wives, love your husband, love your kids, praise God. Yeah. Love your, amen to God, brothers and sisters in the Lord, <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I know everybody goes above and beyond on this day. They go and they spend so much, praise God. But you know, if you would do this, amen to God, every single day, hallelujah. Love, praise God, the Bible says, love covers a multitude of sins, yes, amen does. to God. Amen. And that's that's what I'm thinking, amen to God. And that's, that's what I believe in Jesus is wanting us to know, is that we need to love each and every day the same way as we do on Valentine's Day. Amen to God. Oh, Somebody amen. needs to give God a hand clap of praise. Amen to God. Amen. Because I you today. Praise God. If you can't love your brothers and sisters that you see around you today, how can you say you love the Father? Come on now. Come on. How can you love the Lord if you don't love your friends and family? Amen to amen. God. Amen. Praise God. we got to get all this bitterness and hatefulness out the way. Praise God. And love each other. I'm not talking about that old perverted gay love. Come on. Come on now. Don't shout me down. Hallelujah to God. Homosexuality is wrong. Amen. Amen to God. But the love Jesus shows us. Hallelujah. Come on. Is an unconditional, never-ending, agape, what the Greek word says, love. That will go above and beyond, praise God. That will go to the highest heaven and the lowest hell for you, amen to God. Because He loves you and me and all of us that much, praise amen. God. Not only on Valentine's Day, but each and every day, praise Come God. On. Hallelujah to God. Our Jesus, praise God, comes to us with gifts to give us, amen to God. Come and bless us with on a daily basis, praise amen. God. We may take our loved ones flowers on February 14th. Hallelujah, bring them candy, my Lord in heaven. Jesus, but I'm telling you, Jesus comes to us bearing gifts every day. Hallelujah to God. He's giving you the gift of life today. Amen. If you're breathing right now, it's because He gave it to you. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah amen. to God. If you're sitting here tonight seeing with your eyes, it's because God gave you the gift to see. Amen to God. Amen. Some people out there are blind in their eyes, but yeah. you got sight to see. Somebody give Him a hand type of praise. Amen, amen to God. Amen. If you can talk with your mouth, praise God. God has made you able to talk, praise God, and you be not dumb, hallelujah to God. Give him a hand clap of praise, amen, amen to God. Amen. Come on now. Amen. If you've got hands to clap with, hallelujah to God. If you got hands to clap with and they've not been cut off or not been in no accident, praise God, you ought to give him a hand clap of praise, amen, amen. to God. Hallelujah. If you've got feet, praise God, and legs to stand on, you ought to get on your feet tonight, amen to God, and just do a little dance for Jesus, amen to God. Hallelujah. Come on now. Just do a little dance, praise God. Don't be embarrassed, praise God. Do a little dance for Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you, we take for granted these small things, praise God. Hallelujah. If you can blink your eyes, praise God for it, amen yeah. to God. If you can breathe well, praise God for it, amen. amen. Praise God for everything He's given you. Come on. Gives us gifts every day. Amen. We don't even realize it, amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. See, what we, what we look for in a gift, we look for something in the material sense. Yeah. Praise God. God gave you a gift, hallelujah, where He stopped the enemy from killing you. Amen to God. He shot on my top. Hallelujah to God. I tell Come you, on. God is good to us today. Yes, He is. Praise Amen. God. I tell you, I just love Him more and more each and every day. Amen. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all ready to get in the Word? Amen. Amen. The word from a King James Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. How many still believe that King James Bible is the original version? Amen. Amen. To God, that we need to stick with. Praise God. Come on. We don't need to be diving in no Catholic Bibles, you know, NASB Bibles or whatever they got. They got all kinds of Bibles out. Hallelujah to God. But I'm glad we still got the King James Version. Thank God Come for on. that. Closest to the original Hebrew and Greek that there is. Amen. God. Yeah. Thank God, King James. Thank God he did that. Amen to God. Was obedient. Amen. I believe King James is obedient to the voice of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter one. Amen. Hallelujah. I got a little thought. Praise God. I, I heard somebody talking the other day, and it got me thinking, and I got to praying on it. And I feel like the Lord wanted me to take this and go. I tell you, last time we was here, boy, we had a great move of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Not because of me, but because of Him. Praise God. And I've, I've watched Brother Billy preach, man. The hell, I tell you, ooh, go over to God. Oh. It fills you up. You eating that word. Praise God. I thank God for Brother Billy and the word he's giving out. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many thanks God for your pastor? Amen. 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 
Somebody give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. amen. There's another gift right there. Amen. God, God has blessed you. With. He's given you somebody that, is, that stays in the Word and knows the Word of God. Hallelujah. And it's not teaching you lies or perverted truths. Amen to God. So He benefits from Himself. Amen to God. But He's teaching you so you can grow in the grace and knowledge of God. Somebody ought to give God a hand clap of praise for that. Amen, amen. to God. Amen. You could be one of the 10, 20, 30,000 that goes to Joel Osteen's church and listens to lies from the pulpit because he's afraid to offend somebody. Come on. He won't preach, amen to God, the cross or the blood, amen to God. But he preaches the feel-good messages. I'm telling you today, the blood needs to be preached. The cross needs amen. to be preached, amen to God. The name of Jesus needs to be preached. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We don't need to take these things out, hallelujah to God, because that's what we need. Come on. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 beginning in verse 8. In the name of Jesus, and if you're able to stand for the reading of God's Word out of respect to Him, praise God, let's do that tonight. Amen. I'll tell you. Woo! Man, it just that gets me. Amen to God. Hallelujah. We're able to stand, able to move around, praise God, because of His grace and mercy. Woo! Glory to God. I don't know if anybody's feeling that, but boy, I'm feeling it up here. Amen to God. He's good to us. Amen. Woo! How many knows God's good? Amen. All the time. Hallelujah. All the time? God's good. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good to see Brother Bill and Sister Nancy. Amen to God. Amen. That old devil's been fighting them the last several weeks and months, and but he's defeated. Praise Amen. God. Been fighting Brother Rodney back there. And the devil's a liar. Amen to Amen. God. Amen. I'll tell you one thing. We need to get him preaching again. Hallelujah. I remember that night he preached. Hallelujah to God. What a message he preached. Praise God. The devil's trying to keep him in torment in his mind. Amen to God. And he's got to go. Praise God. Amen. Because the blood's been applied. And amen to God. He is property of Jesus. Amen to God. Amen. It's time we take back and take authority over the devil. That's what God has given us tonight. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 beginning in verse 8. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia that we were pressed out of measure above strength insomuch that we despaired even of life. My Lord. My, my. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not... Oh, hallelujah. This ought to get you shouting here. That we should not trust in what? Ourselves. But in what? God. In who, I mean? In God, which Amen. raiseth the dead. How many believe He can still raise the dead? Amen. Physically Amen. and spiritually. Amen? Amen. Amen. Who delivered us from such a great death and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. How many knows God is a deliverer tonight? Amen. Praise God. How many knows what he did for Moses and the children of Israel, he's going to do for you tonight? Amen. Yes. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, God still delivers. Amen. God still delivers. Verse 11. Ye also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, Thanks may be given by many on our behalf. Oh, hallelujah. That ought to get you shouting right there. Amen. Those passages of scriptures, amen to God. They say God still delivers, amen to God. How many knows that's true? Amen. No matter what you're going through, no matter what heartaches, what trials, what tribulations, what valley you're going through, God is still a delivering God. He's, a, amen to God, a merciful God who will show up right in the nick of time. He's never late. Praise His name. Hallelujah to God. If you're going through something, God's going through it with you, amen. and He's going to bring you out. You just got to have trust in Him to believe He will perform His word. Amen oh, to God. Amen. Oh, I don't think nobody hermit. you got to have trust in Him oh, to believe He will deliver yeah. upon His Word. Praise Amen. God. Because our God is an all-time God. Oh. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. Amen. Heaven said, our God is an all-time God. God. Yes, He is. Praise God. God. Yes, Glory is. to God. So I want to talk to you tonight a few minutes about something I heard a guy say the other day. He said he felt pressured. And I just I was listening to him. How, how many ever listened to a conversation but they think you're not. Yeah. Be honest. Amen, amen to God. And he was telling this other brother, he said, boy, I feel pressured. I feel pressured in, in, in something about this girl he was seeing. He said, I feel pressured that I've got to ask her to marry me. Hallelujah. You can tell the brother was not. <laughs> he didn't want to. But it got me thinking, though. Anytime we get pressure in our lives, yeah. it builds up. Builds up usually we get mad and we blow up. Amen? Come on. When you put pressure behind something officially so long, it's going to pop. Amen? 
You take a balloon and blow it up and keep blowing it. What's eventually going to happen? It's going to bust and pop. Yeah. Amen. So I got to thinking, praise God, why don't we turn our pressures that we're so burdened down with into praise? Come on. Come on now, y'all didn't hear me on that. The pressures of this life, why don't you turn it into praise to God? Amen. To God, and give the devil a black eye. Praise God. Amen. Instead of always telling God about your problems, why don't you tell your problems about Jesus? Come on. Amen yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Instead of telling your problems to God all the time, because God has given you and me the authority over these things according to His Word. Amen to God. Why don't you tell your problems? And witness to them about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can, can I preach that tonight? Amen to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell your problems about Jesus. Amen to God. Come on. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Thanking you tonight, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Thanking you for your love and compassion and patience towards us, Lord God. Lord, we do some crazy things every now and then. Oh, Lord, all the time. And we just have to come to you and say, Lord, forgive us, Lord. We pray tonight we can take this word, Lord God, apply it to our lives, Lord God, and run with this word. Lord God, let this word build and increase our faith up, Lord God. I pray, Lord, this word would touch those here at VOT on the sound of my voice and those going out through the radio, uh, hallelujah, through Facebook and YouTube and whatever avenue, Lord God, let it minister life to those who are hurting. For we ask it all in Jesus' precious name. And everybody said? Amen. Oh, amen to God. What did everybody say? Amen. amen. Praise God. Say it again. Amen. amen. Uh, uh, uh. Tell your problems about Jesus. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. How many ever just been under stress and pressure in life? Amen. I mean, how many just ever, I mean, just really, praise God, you've been under so much stress and pressure, you just want to throw the towel in and give up. Come on. You just want to say, I'm done with all this. And when you're in ministry, praise God, you can get like that. Amen? Amen. Because I tell you, sometimes, and we, we don't, ministers don't go on, praise God, on compliments. Because if we went on compliments, we'd never get good ones. Amen Come to God. On. We always get the negative ones. Well, you preached against this. You preached against my favorite preacher. You said this about him. You didn't honor me when I gave this much. Praise God. You didn't do so and so and so. You didn't put my name in the in the little pamphlet. Praise God. Oh. You didn't put my name on the website. Blah, blah, blah. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. So I'm just tired of it. And preachers go through stuff. Amen to God. We do. Come on. We get to the point, sometimes we want to go to the sporting goods store, get a baseball bat, anoint it with oil in the name of Jesus, and start hitting home runs. I don't know if anybody's ever been like that, praise God. Man, has anybody ever been mad in here before? Amen. Hey, praise God, hallelujah. But praise God, we don't need to let pressure build up that much in our lives. See, that's where we need to go to Jesus daily. But a lot of people, the reason they have so many problems and so much pressure builds up is because they're not in the Word. They're uh -huh. not talking to the Lord. Amen to God. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing on a daily basis. If you take our natural bodies, if we get up and don't feed our bodies, we get sick. We get weak. Amen. Uh -huh. Eventually, we'll die. Amen to God. Yeah. Now, I know I'm using Hunter, for instance. Praise God. When he's ready to eat, he hollers. Come on. He'll go, Wah! loudly. Praise God, that means it's time to feed the baby. Come on. Or change him. Amen to God. Yeah. Or pick him up. Sometimes when he's hollering at 3 o'clock in the morning, you want to say, Lord, let me be deaf for a minute. Come on. I know nobody's ever ever thought that. Praise God. But we cry out, though. Amen to God. And Jesus hears our cries. But he doesn't want us to get so overwhelmed with the worries and the cares of this life to where it's going to physically affect us. Come on. Praise God. And when I say, and when Brother Billy or Brother Bill or anybody says, we've got victory over these things, we do because of what He did at the cross. Amen. But we've got to walk. Amen to God. Hallelujah. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Amen, Amen. to God. And the Bible says, Hebrews 11, 6, without faith it's impossible to please Amen. God. Yeah. So praise God. There should not be a one of us in here. I know we all go through different Trials and tribulations, different things for each of us. We all have different problems. Come on. But if we go to a happy medium here, Jesus Christ is your answer for every problem. Amen. Whether it be big or whether it be small. Amen? Amen. 
Amen. Whether you're having financial problems, Jesus Christ is the answer for that. Amen. Whether you're having marital problems, Jesus Christ is the answer for that. Amen. 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 Whether you're having problems that keep you up here in the middle of the night, make you sweat, make you upset, make you walk and pace the floors. How many ever paced the floors before? Come Praise on. God. Amen. You had worry on your mind. You know, it's it's a sin to worry. Come on. But that's not preached. Yeah. Because I tell you, we're all guilty of it because we all do it. Yeah. That means we just don't trust enough in Jesus and what He said, praise God, that He's going to perform it. And we've got to get back to that, trusting in His Word. Because I tell you, I truly believe this with all my heart. If we constantly, day in and day out, feed upon the Word of God, that worry will die. Come on. It will choke out and never be coming back to life again because yeah. we're walking by faith, amen to God. Amen. And that's what we got to do, amen? Come Especially on. in this tough time with the economy the way it is, with the way our country is. Brother Billy said it earlier tonight that America, America, hallelujah to God, is playing the role, Come on. hallelujah to God, of the harlots. Yeah. Amen. Running after every perverse God, every perverse Come wind on. of doctrine. Amen. Spirit of Antichrist is running wild in this land. That's I'll true. tell you, there is yeah. not... People want to judge India and Africa and them over there because of all their paganistic gods. America has got more and worse gods than they do. Hallelujah to God. We've got technology that we worship like a god. Amen to God. People worship the internet. I tell you, some people will sit on the internet for hours upon hours. I tell you, I don't see how they do it. I can't sit in front of a computer more than about 15 or 20 minutes because my eyes start to hurt. I don't see how these kids down at 9, 10, 11, 12 hours a day, sometimes 24 hours a day, I've heard some cases. It's because people, amen to God, are just in bondage to these things. And we've got to get out of that. We've got to shake these chains off, amen to God. Come and we've got to know who we're free in Jesus, amen to God. Woo, tough crowd tonight, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, this is stuff we all go through. It Come really on. is. Tell your problems about Jesus. Witness to them. Amen to God. Witness to your problems like you would to somebody about the Lord. Come on. And see how that works out. Amen to God. Well, Brother Mike, praise God. I just, you know, you don't know what I'm going through. Well, praise God, Jesus does, and He's been there and He's overcome it. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And that's what you've got to keep telling the devil. Hey, yeah. I'm an overcomer through Christ Jesus. Amen to Amen. God. Amen. Whom the Son sets free is free, free indeed, indeed, and I am Amen. free because of Him and what He did at the cross. Come on. See, we can't get away from the cross, Brother Bill. We Come can't on. do that. It all points back to the cross. Amen? Amen. Over to God. The cross is what bridged the gap between us and God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That ought to get you excited right Come now. On. That's true. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water real quick. Amen. Amen. Preachers today are quitting. They're leaving the pulpits. Come on. Because they've allowed stress to get them down. They've allowed anxiety and panic attacks to get them down. That is not God's will for you. Come on. God, if God has called you to preach the gospel, you need to preach. Come on. You need to preach until your dying day or until He comes back. Amen to God. That's when you know you're truly called of God, is when you're preaching, praise God, past retirement. Come on. I'm tired of preaching. Well, when I hit 62, I'm going to retire and just quit preaching. Well, chances are you're not really God called, you're man called. Come on. By some denomination, amen to God. Hallelujah. That's paying you an a, a unridiculous salary to sit up there and lead people into hell. Come on. I mean, can I say that? Is that all right? Praise God, because amen, it's the amen. truth. Praise God. Preachers today are leading people into hell. Praise God, because they ain't got a backbone to preach the truth. Come on. Woo! Go over to God. Families today are splitting up because of pressure, because of stress, because of things going on in society. Yeah. And if we would get family altars back in the homes instead of, praise God, all these reality shows like Hallelujah to God, American Idol, and all that stuff, where they just judge people by the way they sing and stuff. Amen to God. We need to pray together, church. We need to pray together. Husbands and wives need to pray together. Amen. Children need to pray. Amen to God. Amen. We need to have devotional time where we get in the Word of God as a family. Praise God. Oh. Cut the TV off. Praise God. Turn the cell phone off and pray like we've never prayed before. Amen. Amen. Because I guarantee you when you do that, you won't be in divorce court. Amen. Oh. 
You won't be having your kids going out here living like a devil. Amen? Hallelujah. They'll listen to what you say. But you've got to be, amen, to God, a godly example leading, praise God. Hallelujah. Being led by the great shepherd. He shall Hallelujah to God. Thank God for the great shepherd. Amen. Who won't lead you astray, but will always lead you in the right way. Because John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, Jesus said. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Pressures at school today are our kids like never before. Kids, praise <coughs> God, committing suicide in school. Come on. Because of pressure. Because what the world is doing to them. And not so much even the world, but the church. Come on. The religious order is putting on these people today. I tell you, there's a bondage there and it needs to be broken. We need to tell our problems about Jesus. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Go over to God. Pressures to pay bills. Go over to God. People spend, spend, spend what they don't have. Come on. You know, the Bible says to owe no man nothing but to love one another. Amen? Amen. How many can say you do that? Praise God. If we could truly get out of debt, amen to God, and all we had to do was take our brothers and sisters and love them, amen to God, that would be awesome, wouldn't it, brother? Yeah, amen. That would be totally awesome. Nine times out of ten, though, nobody would love one another. They'd start a fight, amen to God. Come on. Then they'd make them run, run up a credit card bill again. Hallelujah. It's just the truth today. I, I've never seen, and I use this day as an example. Because everybody's running out here buying flowers, buying candy, just going hog wild on oh. showing the person how much they love them. But 364 <coughs> days out of the year, you leave them in the dark. And don't give them no time or attention. That, that's not love. That's just a guilty conscience coming out on, that, on this day trying to make up for the other 364 days you don't do anything or say you love them. Amen? Woo! Come on. Hallelujah. That preach right there. Amen. Glory to God. How many loves your wives tonight? Amen. How many loves your husband? Amen, Amen. to God. I don't care, praise God, if, they, if their feet stink, you still love them. Amen to God. Come on now. Hallelujah. I don't care if they got hair coming out their ears and can braid up and make a jump rope. Amen to God. You still love them. Amen. Come on. Come on now. Husbands, you still love your wives no matter how loud they snore. Amen. Come on. Amen. Shout me down. Amen. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Got to love one another no matter what. Hallelujah. I'm digging a hole. I better back up. Amen. Praise God. So we've got to turn, amen, to God. Turn these <coughs> pressures and turn them into praise. <coughs> Psalm 98, verses 1 through 6 declares. If you got it, go to it. Praise God. Hallelujah. What do I mean, turn these pressures into praise? What do I mean, tell G amen to God your problems about Jesus? It says, And sing unto the Lord a new song, for He hath done marvelous things. Hallelujah. His right hand and His only arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth hath seen the salvation of our God. Amen? Now this right here is what the church likes today. Verse 4. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on. Brother Billy said it earlier. You know, when we get to heaven, it's going to be loud up there. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. But He wants us to do it here. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Somebody Hallelujah. shout it loud. Amen, amen to God. Hallelujah. Shout it like amen to God. The UK just won the NCAA championship. Oh, I know you can shout in there. Amen to God. Shout because Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Amen. He is your Redeemer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Shed His blood for you Hallelujah. at the cross. Yeah. He is your healer. Praise God. He keeps you together. Praise God. Come on. Shout for him. Make a joyful noise unto the Amen. Lord. Amen. All the earth. You know when it's talking about all the earth, it means us. Come on. Praise God. The Bible says we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen to Come God. On. Hallelujah to God. Make a joyful noise. All the earth. Yeah. Make a loud noise. Amen. Woo. Did you hear that? Yeah. Now, now, those other versions, they probably say make a silent noise because you offend your neighbor. Come King on. James says makes a loud noise. Amen. amen. Go over to God. He's coming back loudly. Amen to God. Amen. Coming back with the trump of God. Amen to God. Yeah. He's going to be loud when he comes back. Praise God. Amen. Thank God. 
Woo! Yes, it is, Brother Bill. Amen. 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 Loud to wake the dead. Did y'all hear that? Woo! Go. He coming up on top. Shout out on my. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's coming back loudly, church. Come on. You say Pentecostals, amen to God, they're too loud. We need to get a little bit louder, amen to God. Hallelujah. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise, amen to God. Amen. You want to turn them pressures and worries, hallelujah, into praise. You start lifting up Jesus. You start telling your problems about Jesus, amen to God. And I'll tell you, those things are going to go away, amen, amen. to God. Amen. Sing unto the Lord with the heart. With the harp and with the voice of a psalm, amen to God. With trumpets and the sound of a cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord the King, praise God. If Brother David was here with his guitar, I'd say make a joyful noise with that guitar, amen to God. Amen. Pick those strings. If you got a piano, tickle those ivories, amen to God. But use every instrument and praise ye the amen. Lord. Amen. Somebody give me praise tonight. Amen. Go over to God. Amen. Turn amen. that pressure into praise, amen. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll tell you, when you're facing deadlines, praise Jesus. Amen to God. When the pressure's on, give God a shout of praise. Amen to God. Amen. When you get mad, when you want to put a fist through a wall, just turn it around and shout for Jesus. Amen to God. Because I tell you tonight, praise still works. Amen, Amen. to God. Praise Amen. God still works. Praise will get you off the street and get you in the palace. Amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all don't sound excited about that. Oh, but I'll tell good. you one thing. There's been times, Brother Billy, to where <laughs> I've been, praise God, not knowing if I'm coming or going. And all I can do is hear a song, amen to God. Oh. And I'll start praising and yeah. singing unto God, amen, amen to God. Man. And I'll tell you, changes fall off, amen to God. And I felt better, amen to God. Oh. I'm going through having a negative mind and an attitude, amen to God. I'm just mad. I'll start praising Him, amen to God. And things oh, will change, hallelujah. amen to God. Hallelujah to God. Amen. I'm telling you, that's what we got to do today. Is praise Him, amen to God. Oh. I don't care if the ministry looks bad. Praise Him, praise God. Oh. Because the Bible says, amen to God, weeping may endure for a night, oh, but joy, God. joy, joy, joy yeah, is man. coming in the morning. Look yeah, at your neighbor and say, man. joy is coming, amen to God. Joy is coming. No matter what the devil tells you, because the devil's going to bring you a negative report, but whose report are you going to believe? Amen oh. to God. You're going to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. The more trouble you're facing, that means you need to praise Him and cry out more. Amen to God. Come on. This can't always be a mountaintop experience, because amen to God, on the mountaintop you never grow. But when you get into the valley, amen to God, that's where you start becoming more like He is, amen to God. The potter's will, that's when you start molded in His image, amen? Amen. Thank God, thank God. If your midnight's ever going to turn today, you have to learn to turn your pressure into praise. Acts chapter 15, verses 25 and 26. It's a commonly used text. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. I want to stop right there. They prayed at midnight, praise God, and Come sang on. praises unto God. Midnight, there is a type of your situation you're going through, amen to God. <coughs> Whatever you're going through, pray, amen to God, and sing praises. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord God. Hallelujah. Amen. And look what happened. And suddenly, how many know suddenly is upon the horizon? Amen to God. Suddenly is coming, praise God. The devil tells you you ain't got a suddenly coming. Yes, you do got a suddenly Come coming because of what Jesus said. Amen to God. It said, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. My Lord, we need to get these old earth, these old temples shaken up here. Amen to God. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened. Praise God. And everyone once bands were loosed. When you oh. pray and praise God, you are set free. Amen to God. Amen. Thank you, Brother Billy. Praise God. Oh. Shame on y'all for not praising him, amen to God, because that's a good word, amen, amen, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. You ought to praise God. That's why you're the mess you're in today, because you won't praise God. Oh. 
Well, Brother Mike, you're just getting a little bit too loud about that, praise God. Amen. We need to get loud. We need to cry loud and spare not. Amen to God. The devil and his crowd, they make enough noise out here in this world. We are supposed to be the ones who have the answer to life's problems. Praise God. We are supposed to know the one who can fix every problem, set you free, and we set back like we're defeated when we should be marching and moving over and over because we're the victorious church of Jesus Christ. We Amen. 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 Got the head, got the tail, Amen. going over, Amen. down under. Amen. We are blessed. Amen. God. So why don't we act like it? Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. The church, Amen to God, is supposed to be the one that's well and not sick. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on now. People come into the house of God seeking answers. But when they come in and they see bickering and fighting, cussing on one another, amen to God, backbiting and slandering the preacher, amen to God, and doing this and doing that, hallelujah, fornication going on, adultery going on, all this stuff, all this ungodliness and this uncleanness in the church, amen to God, no wonder the world wants to stay as far away as it can. Come on, amen. No wonder when sinners come to the altar and get saved. No wonder they walk away when people are gossiping about them when they're trying to get their lives right. Shame on the church. The amen. church needs to straighten up, amen to God, and amen. get right. Judgment will begin at the house of God, amen, amen to God. And it needs to start here, amen. Yeah. With each and every one of us. From the preacher to the one that sings to the one that just sits there and Come makes on. the pew sit there, amen. 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 It's time to turn these pressures into praise, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. No matter what you're going through, you're going through. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah to God. I know this is tough preaching, but amen to God, it's right. It's tight, but it's right. Amen? Come on. <clears throat> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. See, Paul here, in this 8th chapter, hallelujah to God. In this first chapter, verses 8 through 11, he's telling about all the problems he went through. Amen to God. All the, the persecutions, the fights. Amen to God. All the stuff. They were just going through things like we do today. See, Paul had the same problems as we do. Yeah. Praise God. Nobody to pray for him. Yeah. Nobody to support him. Nobody to encourage him. See, we're to encourage one another. How many just encourage somebody today, honestly? Come on. Somebody been down and out, and you went to him and said, Hey, brother, hey, sister, let me pray for you. Yeah. Let me give you a word, praise God. You may be on the verge of defeat, but that Come word on. will be the only thing you get, praise God, that helps you go over. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9 declares, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Per persecuted, but not forsaken. Glory to God. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Yes. Cast down, but not destroyed. Come on. Amen. See, that's our creed. Amen to God. That's Hallelujah right. to God. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. Come on. Jesus is with me. When the storm clouds gather, amen, amen to God, He's standing by my side and your side. Amen to God. You ought to be excited about Come that. On. You may be cast down, but you're not destroyed. Amen. The devil may be telling you today, you don't mean nothing to nobody. Come on. But Jesus says different because you are a child of the King. But Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You've got to praise Him. And I don't say that as just something to throw out. We've really got to get back to praising and worshiping God. Because that's where our deliverance comes in. Is Come when on. we praise God. Amen. Amen. Psalm chapter 50. Psalm chapter 150, verse 6 says, Let everything that hath breath. Yeah. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Glory <laughs> to God. Paul was going through it here. But he knew, praise God, that if he continued on yeah. running this race, amen to God, that amen. at the end, praise God, he would finish. Yeah. Hallelujah. There'd be a great prize. Come on. Yeah, amen. how many knows that great prize, amen, that God's been promised to us? Amen. We're running this race right now. We're doing all we can do for the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Hallelujah to God. We're, we're doing everything, using every avenue. Hallelujah to God. We're going, amen, to God, standing up against the kingdom of darkness to take the message of the cross out to the world out there who's going to hell. I tell you, church, hell is real, and we need to deliver the message to them because I tell you, we're going to be giving account for a lot of people. 
Yeah. When we stand before God when blood is dripping from our hands. Amen. I tell you, I don't want my hands to be covered in nobody's blood. Amen. I know y'all don't either. Amen. Amen. That's why we got to keep on. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul got to a place in God. Amen. Even though he was being persecuted, he was being talked about, run down, physically beaten, everything done to him, he got to a place where Acts 20, 24 says, but none of these things move me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Isn't that powerful? Oh, I tell you. He got to a place in the Lord. He shot it on my top. Hallelujah. A place in God that they could be beating him and he could still say, Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. He got to a place in God, Brother Bill, to where they would spit in his face and he'd say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, that I'm being persecuted for your name's sake. Glory to God. Blessed are those that are persecuted for the Lord's sake. Come on. Praise God. Don't give up when you get persecuted. Rejoice. <clears throat> Hallelujah. He said, but none of these things move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. And the ministry, amen, which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. I believe we can get to that place, Brother Billy. Come on. I believe that's where God wants us at. Amen? Come on. Stand to your feet with me, praise God. I told you I wasn't going to hold you too long. Hallelujah, God. Just, it was a small thought, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's helped anybody here tonight, but it's helped me, praise God, because I know, for me personally, I can praise God more than I do. Amen, Amen to God. God has opened my eyes to some things, hallelujah, in my life, that praise God, that praise and worship in Him can Come set on. me free, praise God. You don't need no spectacular thing. All I got to do is open my mouth and rejoice and give Him praise. Amen. Amen. And a lot of you in here tonight, whatever you're going through, if you just praise Him. When we when we say praise the Lord, if you've got a testimony, amen to God. See, your testimony is a praise unto God. Yeah. The Bible says we overcome the devil. Revelation said, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. That's why it's so important to give a testimony. If God's done something for you, tell Him about it. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. If not, you still just want to praise Him. Amen? Praise Him for somebody else's deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I'll tell you, we all in here have been through hell and high water. Come on. But because of Jesus, we're able to keep going on. Amen? Amen. Father, we come before You now in the name of Jesus, and we thank You tonight Amen. again. Thank you, Lord, that we have an opportunity to love you and to praise you. Father, help us, Lord, to just take our burdens to you and leave them there. Help us, Lord, to praise you in the storm, Lord God, no matter what's coming our way, coming around us, at us, to help us, Lord, to praise you, dear God. For you're worthy to be praised. No matter what we go through, you're still worthy to be praised. Whether we go through death, dear God, you're still worthy to be praised. Whether we go through persecution, dear God, you're still worthy to be praised, dear God. Because you said you'd never leave us. Father, I pray you would be with us tonight as we depart. Get us to our home safe, the Lord. Help us to rest peacefully tonight in you. Lord, just give us, give us visions. Give us dreams, Lord God. Give us more of you, dear God, and let us decrease of self. For we ask it all in Jesus' precious name. And the church says, Amen, amen and Amen.